And guys, welcome to the top 10 grossest foods ever. We are going to see what they got for us here. I don't feel so good. Faint of heart, <laughs> then beware as we list down the top 10 grossest foods ever. True. Jellied moose nose. Ooh. <laughs> as you will see from our... Bada bing, bada boom. And well, you cook like it down sweet. to jelly, to and then you toast. eat it. Some kind of sweet jelly dessert. And alas, it's Ooh. nothing like that. Can delicacy served especially in places like Alaska and northern Canada, where there's a large population of the animals. Dang you, to Canada. It, the nose of the moose is removed and then boiled Dang you, Canada. until the hair easily comes off. Uh, then it's cooked uh, in a broth of onions and spices. And do that one. I'll offer you a nice egg in this trying time. We have mentioned that sometimes a name can be disgusting. I, I, I have heard sometimes of Baloo. A name can make something disgusting and sound quite tasty. Well, not only can a name do that. Isn't this the duck egg? And the look of the food. This. Baloo is actually a fully yeah, it's, intact it's duck, duck egg. It's a duck egg. Inside oh. an eggshell. While the eggs we are used to eating are in the warm yeah, it's for like... about a week until the embryo is ready. Then the egg is cooked and served with salt. When okay, you I mean it's the cooked. Shell, the regular boiled egg forms around the small duck body with feathers, beak, the whole nine yards. Oof. I'd say it's more like a duck. <laughs> Kasu Marzu. Kasu Marzu. Are you sucking on a block of cheese? No. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, she's just weird too because there's so the many different forms of it, but it's all the same thing. It's just fermented like cream. Milk. After a few weeks, the larvae hatch and begin to feed inside the cheese. This is supposed to advance the cheese to a higher level of fermentation by breaking down the cheese's fat. Oh yeah, then of course, the totally. Is ready to eat, larvae and all. Oh. If the thought of maggot-filled cheese doesn't excite you, don't yeah. worry, you're not alone. In recent years, health authorities have put their foot down on this cheese as it doesn't meet modern sanitation Finally. requirements. Finally, government does something useful. It is now useful. <laughs> to make in many countries. Phew. <laughs> but one oh, useful thing God. government has done in the last 10 years Stink heads. As it was i can do very fish common. as with a lot of other cultures <laughs> it was normal to use up every Top part 10 of the animal useful so things none government has done go no one goes hungry i'm so and maggot hungry. cheese number one completely rotted away they are dug up and then mashed into a kind of pudding or mousse and then served cold <laughs> there's got to be a better snack i just don't know Should probably stay away from that one. Should probably stay away from that one. Oh. Yeah, why, why are we still eating food like that? I mean, the Vikings are cool and all, but we've, we've moved on as society. We don't need that. Adama? sugar and soy sauce this dish became popular during the poverty era of japan when everything had to be eaten while nowadays eating i feel like that's where a lot of this stuff comes from it's from the poverty eras of each culture fish eyes are after all rich in omega-3 these tuna eyes contain a concentration of fat acid heart a cobra heart Sometimes it's because it's the only food that is available, and yep. other times it's because people don't want to waste any part of the animal. All of that can. And be our our different. culture is basically ramen. Like if you if you're just like hard on your luck, you go buy like a crate of ramen for five bucks, and you're good. You're good to go. And order a cobra's heart. While originally eating the heart of a living cobra was done to enhance your male virility, nowadays it has become a big tourist attraction. It's now done solely for the kicks. It's so popular that most <laughs> Vietnamese restaurants will serve it. So how does it work? Well, you get to pick out your own cobra, which oh. is still alive, and then they slice out the heart and drop it. Come here, little Roger. Come here, little sneaky. Drink it all down. If that's not enough for you, then you can follow this up with a shot made it. up of the snake's bile and blood, mixed with rice wine and a shot of the venom. Oh, okay. As long as the venom doesn't enter your bloodstream, you'll be safe as the stomach acid will process it. Even so, this is one. <laughs> but why though? And but why? That's I need answers. I need to know why. Why we, why we would you do sure that? This is 
Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> this is one. Would have thought that you could find oysters this is one right here. Ooh. Okay. You probably already know. This is another Rocky one though. Like why why is this a thing? Why did we start this trend? Don't, here's the gist. They are battered and fried young bull testicles. Yep. They end up looking a little bit like onion rings. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Way, this don't ruin onion rings for us. me. This delicacy came about in a time when ranchers needed to find a cheap and readily available meat source. They experimented with a different meat source. Cuts of you hear that, chat? Found that the testicles <laughs> of the bulls were going to waste when the bulls had their parts removed. <laughs> on these cowboy delicacies yeah, I mean, are, I mean, if you didn't know that's what it was, it probably wouldn't be too bad. I think it, a lot of these things, it's the it's the thought of it, like the maggot cheese. Pudding. Pudding. We next turn our attention pudding. to the UK. At some point in history, oh, the British UK. Empire covered a large heritage. Um, this However, is the top the 10 grossest foods. To eat their own Skull. gross foods. Not exactly known for their culinary <laughs> delights. Bangers, I don't know why. Don't ask why we're watching this. I don't know. Mind. Haggis, after all, is all the organs and bits we don't want to eat wrapped in a sheep's bladder. As gross as that <laughs> sounds, the winner of the UK's <laughs> grossest dish has to be black pudding. So coagulate. It's mixed with oatmeal, barley, and sometimes potato, then oh, boiled as a skin form. This is not just it, blood. The appearance of a thick sausage. The black pudding <laughs> is then fried with a traditional <laughs> British I mean, I, I guess at least it's like bacon, they put other stuff beans, in it, right? Toast, so it's not just like the blood. Black pudding. Although the breakfast Ugh. doesn't sound just, bad. I just don't even. Blood. Shirako. And the Shirako. It's not semen, it's seaman. For this next entry on our list, we head back over to Japan. Not content enough with eating all of the fish, they decided to go one step further and eat what's inside it too. By that, we mean the fish semen. That's right, shirako, also known as milt, is the seminal fluid of fish, mollusks, and certain other water-dwelling animals. Why? Shirako is served as a white paste. It actually resembles this sauces such as paste. mayonnaise and horseradish. It's served as a white paste, chat. Appealing. You hear that? But before you start dipping your fries into this white paste and no, get why you by gotta keep saying that? fishy taste, be aware of what it is. Shirako can be served in a number of ways, as a sauce on the side. Why do you gotta say it rice. like that? It can even be grilled and battered to make a nice fish <laughs> semen tempura. Maybe since it's battered oh. and fried, you might be or retrieved oh, okay. from the sacks of dead ones. I'm Dr. Octopus. We've got more. Just tap or click for another great video. Hit that. Man, I don't know, chat. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about society after watching that.